everyone and welcome to Stripped Music Diary. I'm Shannon and I'm here today in Oak Lawn Cemetery. It's in uh, Tampa, Florida. We're here today to talk a little bit about the new Kills record that's coming out June 3rd. It's called Ash and Ice and um, there are two tracks that have been released so far, uh, Doing It to Death and Heart of a Dog. Okay, so sorry for that. Um, the other corner of the cemetery is where all the buses must come in. Um, so we're here in Oakland Cemetery. It's in downtown Tampa. It's within walking distance to Amelie Arena. It's where all the biggest concerts would happen here in Tampa, um, like The Weeknd and you know Beyonce and that sort of thing. So um, it's just kind of interesting that something like this exists mere blocks away from you know such heavy commerce and um, you know the the lightning games are over there and stuff like that so um, I just finished walking around here exploring a little and taking photos um, which I'll include the link below um, to a tumblr that I'm gonna use for things like this um, so I can take you know pictures for you guys of all the places that I review albums at so um, if you are interested in Oakland Cemetery and um, some of the photos that I've taken of the old graves uh, the oldest grave I found uh, the person had died in I believe it was 1850 was the oldest one that I saw um, and there's also a few slave graves here um, where the name is not known it just says a slave on the gravestone um, there's also a gravestone that says that it was a Cuban pirate found dead in the woods uh, and he's buried here I believe he was uh, found in 1850 so very very old place here. A lot of the gravestones are broken um, and a lot of the you know, maintenance on the actual headstone is really not there at all. It's basically um, kept up here as far as like the landscaping goes. It's really nice but the fences are falling down, a lot of broken gravestones, um, and a lot of the headstones are not legible. So um, the newest stones I've found were um, the person had died in 2003 and it seemed like a family. There was a gravestone next to it where it, the person had not passed away yet. So, you know, they have the uh, empty um, space or blank space where they died. So. I assumed it was maybe like one of those pre-purchased things. So anyway, um, if you've seen the video for Doing It to Death, they're in a graveyard in LA. Uh, the kills are made up of Allison Mosshart and Jamie Hintz. Uh, Allison Mosshart is a American lady and she's actually from Florida. So um, that kind of uh, resonates with me a little bit because she used to be in a band called Discount from Gainesville, Florida and in order to kind of um, separate herself from that band uh, when she started making music with Jamie Hintz she took on a name, I think it was VV and he took on the name Hotel they um, kind of came around 2005-2006 era on the scene um, they're very rock and roll with a, some like swamp blues style in there, like a little PJ Harvey style uh, guitars and kind of foot stomp and blues. So um, being in an old, you know, Florida swampy cemetery here with all this hanging Spanish moss, it seemed appropriate. Um, I try to give you a backstory or go somewhere relevant when I'm filming these videos. It's not always going to happen and um, it's very, very hot already so I can't imagine I will um, go to a lot of really sunny places to review these 
uh, things, you know, throughout the summer, but we'll see. I'm going to try my best to make them relevant. <laughs> I feel like this is the most relevant one yet. So anyway, um, The Kills haven't released an album in a few years. Uh, Alison Mosshart, if you didn't know, she's in, or she was in the band The Dead Weather with Jack White and um, dude from the Queens of the Stone Age. So uh, she was doing that for a while and now they're back. Um, I read an interview that she said that this album is going to be super different from anything the Kills have done before, but to be quite honest, I'm not really sold on that yet. Um, I love it. I'm obsessed with doing it to death. It's a great foot stomping track. Um, it's it's really dancey. It's awesome, and it's super like sneering in your face, snarky rock and roll. Um, Jamie and Allison don't really like to do a lot of interviews. They aren't really the most approachable band per se. I think it adds to their rock and roll persona, but they dress the part and they put out good fucking music. So uh, that's, you know, all we can ask for from a band. But she did do the interview that uh, I can't recall where I, where I read it, but um, she did say that this is going to be very different from what they've done before. So uh, we can't necessarily judge just yet, having heard just, you know, Heart of a Dog and Doing It to Death. But they're very much like in the same vein to me as um, the future starts slow. This is just our initial reaction video. I'm definitely going to review Ash and Ice. Um, I really just wanted to um, throw it out there that I'm really interested to see if they go down the path of that blues uh, influence that they ha have always kind of had. We'll see if they kind of go down that path again um, and I also am going to see the kills here in Seattle. Not here but I'm going to see the kills in Seattle uh, because I'm going there in a few weeks so um, I'm just really, really interested to see how they've evolved since I saw them back in, I believe it was around 2006, um, and I drove to Atlanta to see Cold Cave, and Cold Cave were opening for, and I only watched a little bit of the set, I didn't really know who they were, um, I was there, I heard it all, but I kind of just like was wandering around, and I, um, I wasn't really a big fan yet, so... Um, I'm super excited to go and, and see them and um, they seem very much like they have a strong st stage presence. Uh, when I saw them at uh, the Masquerade in Atlanta, they uh, Jamie Hintz came down, immediately came down into the crowd and was playing and guitar and just like, you know, it, they were just very enigmatic in their stage presence. So that's really, really uh, appealing to me as a band. I like that feeling when you go see a live band that's really electrifying and they seem to have that so um, that's really cool and they just released a video for Heart of a Dog. They're very like very much about their LA culture. Uh, both videos have some cool dancing on cars sitting on cars action going on so uh, they're both very foot stumpy you know, dancey tracks. They are very good at putting together a very complete and full sound using the minimal amount of instrumentation that they, they use. It's a drum machine, a guitar, and a keyboard. I think that's it. So I'm really excited to kind of resuscitate my fandom in this band and hear what this record uh, brings us. So as always, thank you guys for watching and um, check out the blog post that I put all the pictures on for you of this cool old place here. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna get updates for when we post again and follow us on Instagram. I'll put the uh, username below. So thanks again and we will 
be reviewing something here probably later this week or next week. Uh, but thanks again and we'll see you soon. Bye!